Dockside Live. This evening we decided to change it up a little bit, head interior, hit the inner marshy in the river, see if we can chase some speckle trout, redfish, and bass. We're going to be throwing the matrix spin, the lemon drop, and the three quarter ounce, the three eight ounce um, golden eye jig head. On calmer days, we've been running in the outside in the Lake Bourne, catching a hundred man limit of trout in a couple hours. It's been fairly easy, but when the west wind kicks up in the evening time, we decided to come in, in the interior and chase some, you know, chase some redfish, bass, and speckled trout. So stay tuned to this edition of Dockside Live and see if we can put you on some fish. couple different techniques that you want to do when you're fishing a river. You want to have a pole set up a couple different ways. Early in the morning we like to get on the shallower flats, shallower shorelines and throw top water. These redfish love that but right now the sun's up high. I like to come on to the, some of the deeper banks where in the middle of the bayou it'll get 10 to 20 foot deep the fish are generally about six foot deep, I would say. You're throwing it up on the bank. And you're gonna use that three eighths ounce golden eye and you're gonna just work it off the bank. Now, if you're fishing a shallower, something where it doesn't drop off so much and it stays flatty all the way out for a long distance, you know, if it stays four foot underneath the boat and one foot up on the bank, we like to use a spinnerbait a lot. Just cast a quarter ounce spinnerbait, come back with it. Our golden eye spinnerbaits work fine for that. But when you get on the deeper banks where it's coming from one foot down to four, down to eight, down to 12, three eight ounce jig hand, that's where them redfish like to be on that drop off. So I'm gonna keep throwing that till the sun comes down more. Then we might go to top water or spinnerbait later and get on some shallower stuff. All right, guys, we're over here in the uh, the Pearl River, um, catching these redfish, throwing a three eighths ounce golden eye jig head, uh, using the lemon head matrix shad. We're throwing a three eighths ounce because in the river you get a lot of tide, you get a lot of these steep sea drop offs. Whenever you hit that drop off, you want that bait to fall straight down, you know, to the bottom, keeping constant contact with the bottom. But uh, it's real important to use that heavier jig head in the river, not only with the steep drop offs but also with the amount of tide they have. And this is what we're catching: good grilling size redfish. Something's got him now, I think. Maybe not. Hey, something's trying to eat this little bastard. Something did eat him. Show me. Got 
Guys, we just hooked this little bitty redfish here back in the river, uh, set the hook, and something big tried to eat him. We didn't get a look at it. Probably a big jack or a shark. Had him on there for a second, and uh, apparently let go of the redfish. But you can see he's all tore up. Poor little guy. Something was after him. Got a nice little rat red. Well, this one's actually... Probably about 18 inches. Look at this. He just spit up a shrimp. So I got some shrimp in this river right now. We're using that lemon head. Water's slightly stained. Reds really like this color. Like Tristan said before, that 3 8 ounce. Good, good jig head size to come off these slopes. It's, it's starting at a foot. By the time we get to the end of our presentation, it's about 12 foot. And these fellas right here are hitting it somewhere in between. They like them drop-offs. Perfect size red for the grill. All right, all you want to do is just cast it out to the shoreline. Let it hit the bottom and just slowly jig it off that drop-off. Rail in your slack. One, two, three. Come down that drop-off. Rail in your slack. One, two, three. And you'll see. There it is. A little speckle trout. You'll see when your line hits the bottom, it'll go slack. Now when we get into the latter parts of the year, when it gets colder, we usually are in the lake fishing those bigger trout, but this river will get full of these 12 inch to 16 inch speckle trout. Go ahead and let this one go. This one's about 13 inches. school trout mixed in with these reds in the river right now. It's only gonna get better and better as the fall gets here. Went to a uh, shoreline that's a little more flat. I uh, average depths around anywhere from three to six feet and uh, we went with the spitter baits. Sun's starting to get a little lower in the sky and we're on that flat bank where we had the luxury to be able to fish a spinnerbait now. And we're fishing the spinnerbait with the same result. All we're doing is fishing that matrix spin, quarter ounce golden eye jig head, and a midnight mullet uh, matrix shed. Well, school trout, matrix spin. It's a pretty decent fish for the river. It's not really known for getting big ones. Came right up to a little bayou there. Jigged that 3 8 right through the mouth of it. There he was. That's the second one we caught off that bayou. And that's kind of the name of the game. You just want to run and gun. Fallen tides are best. Fish every little mouth of a ditch that you can find where water is coming out of. And always pay attention to the bait. They got so much mullets and pogies in here right now. Anywhere, I'll just be running down the shoreline. If I see mullets and pogies go to bust the surface, it's time to just drop the trolling motor and give it a shot. Hey guys, pick up a pack of matrix sheds. Get down here to the Pearl River. Catch some nice fish. This beautiful redfish here. Once again, guys, just fishing that three ace. Uh, ounce golden, golden eye jig head, uh, the matrix shad in both uh, midnight mullet and lemon head colors. We're on the Pearl River system and this is what we're catching. Beetle fish just like this. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. As we said, we're fishing the Pearl River system. Um, you know, Now we're in the uh, middle of August. Uh, now through really all the fall, it'll be a great time to come fish the river. Salinity's up high, the river's down low, the fish are going to continue to transition here throughout the fall. Um, fishing these real steep drop-offs, like we said, using three sounds jig heads, matrix sheds, and lemon head in various colors. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode. Check out all the episodes at www.docksidela.com.